Hey everybody, it's me for Girlie here, and today we're coming at you with a quick video regarding the Blue Lab Combo Meter. Um, so as you can see here, I've got my pens. These are the Blue Lab PH pen and PPM or EC pen. I've been using these for years and years and years. This is probably like my maybe third set of them or something. Um, but I've decided to just go ahead and grab this combo meter, which has not only the pH probe, but also the EC probe, which includes the temperature as well. So I thought this was more of like a wall mounted unit. And um, I realized that this is really a kind of a handheld device. It's something you can just kind of walk around with and check your, your res is uh, with one meter rather than two. So rather than replacing these, cause it's about time, I'm gonna go ahead and use this from now on out and uh, do a little quick unboxing video here so you can see how we get it set up and uh, tested. So inside the box it does come with two AAA batteries which you will need. Um, it also has the pH probe here which is nice because you can replace this probe if it does go bad or you let it dry out or something like that. We've got the unit itself so as you can see in comparison, it's actually, you know, the, the unit itself is shorter. Obviously, you got the probes with the wires, but it is very, very much a handheld device. And then attached to that, you can see this is your EC probe, which also shows your temperature readings. And uh, the nice thing about this, um, you can see I have this 2.77 EC conductivity fluid, and uh, this is what you use to make sure you have your EC or PPM uh, pen calibrated. But I read the manual and for this thing, you don't need to calibrate this at all, it says. So we're gonna go ahead and shove that off to the side with those pens as those won't be needed for this. Also inside the box, you've got your Spanish and English um, manuals here. I can very much not speak or read Spanish. So we'll go ahead and go with the English version and uh, that's the one you can use for reference in addition to this video. Now also in the box you've got both your pH 7 calibration solution and your pH 4 calibration solution. Um, you have to calibrate this pen before you use it for the first time and they do make bottles like this size and bigger that I would recommend having on hand because you do want to uh, recalibrate these probably like once a month. Um, and it's really simple to do. It takes you know less than two minutes out of your day. Um, the one thing you gotta remember to do is always start with pH seven calibration solution. So you'll calibrate in seven and then you can go to four or 10, 12. I know there's some other solutions out there but you always wanna start in the middle with that seven. All right. So that's pretty much all there is in the box. A lot of details in the box itself, but we'll go ahead and kind of keep that off to the side. I like to use these uh, shot glasses or just like a measuring cup shot glass because um, that really, that actually holds the pens pretty well in there. Um, we'll see, you know, I guess this is just on a, a cord here, so we're not gonna, I don't think it's gonna like knock over my shot glass or anything, but let's pop open this pH probe. We'll get that set up. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so this is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and undo the twist tie here. And it's just a pretty much, um, pretty much a like twist and lock mechanism here. So we'll go ahead and match up the notches, push down, twist and lock. That's it. Also going to unstrap this just so we can stretch these lines out a little bit. These are pretty lengthy. I don't know. I'm sure it says on the box or in the manual how long these are. But if I had to guess, oh yeah, these are definitely six foot. So you got some distance on these. That's kind of nice. Um, one thing you'll notice in here on the pH probe is it does come with the KCI solution in there, the storage solution. Um, say that 10 times fast. So you always have to make sure that the probe tip is covered in that solution. So may, you, know, you may over time have to add some to it. You never want to store this in reverse osmosis water or distilled water or deionized water, anything like that. Um, it screws up the chemistry of the probe and it pretty much kills it. So 
make sure you get that solution if you need it as well from Blue Lab or your local hydro store. And speaking of which, guys, this pen, those pens, the solution, everything you get at hydropros.com, you can now use the discount code for Groly, F-R-E-G-R-O-W-L-I, and you'll get 10% off your entire order. Um, so already great pricing on there, and then that additional 10% off is really going to help. So, you know, before you go to your local hydro store or, you know, before you're buying somewhere else online, give, uh, give hydropros.com a check and type in that discount code for Groly to see if you can save more there. Shout out to those guys. Been buying everything from there for years. Big supporters too. All right, so this is uh, basically just a twist, twist off as well. I don't want to break it. <laughs> so I'll pinch there and then twist off the bottom. So kind of interesting. There you go. So there's your probe. You can see it's dripping wet from the storage solution. I'm going to try to keep everything in there but that's pretty simple to use and then the other one doesn't need any kind of storage solution so you're simply just dipping it in there and uh, another another you know great thing about that so you don't have to calibrate it but we're gonna go ahead and calibrate this pH probe so that we know we can use it in our reses I need to install the batteries here still so we'll go ahead and pop this open thankfully it doesn't require screws gotta love the battery compartments that require a screw or two and you're trying to film a video and then you got to go find a screwdriver and it screws everything up no pun intended all right if i can get this lid back on come on this is a for girly proof packaging as well right jeez all right so if we look at the back it actually has your instructions on here that's nice look at that technical support number and everything we're here to help you shout out to blue lab pH calibration, press any button to turn on the meter. Uh, I probably already hit a button or maybe just from pushing that uh, battery in, it turned on. So it's reading the pH right now of the storage solution. Um, loosen and remove cap from probe, rinse in fresh water, and then place in the 7.0 solution. So it's always got the reminder right on the back for you to do that 7.0 first. You'll press the cal button, the calibrate button until calibrate appears or cal appears on the screen and release. Series of flashing blank squares will appear and then it'll show you the calibration okay so one thing you always got to do like it says you got to rinse this in fresh water first so fortunately right next to me is my sink I'm gonna go ahead and bring this with me and rinse it real quick and you're gonna pretty much do that before and after every use and now quickly I'm going to bust open. Oh, there's, unfortunately, it looks like there's a little notch on the top there. Bust open the 7.0 solution. And I won't be saving any of this, so I'm just going to pour it all right in there. All right. Now we'll dunk this in. All right, it's going to stay there for me. I want to see what this comes up to calibration wise on its own before actually being calibrated. And if you again read the manual, it'll tell you that this, uh, you know, taking a temperature reading, a EC reading, a pH reading, it says to leave it in your basically aggravated uh, nutrient solution. So you want it to be constantly mixing in. The probe should be where, what, where it's getting mixed. You don't want it just off to the side. You want as much flow around it as possible. It says it takes one to two minutes to actually get that calibration. Now, I think realistically, <laughs> at least with these pens and looking at this here, it takes maybe 10, 15 seconds. Um, but that's just a side note in terms of the manual. So we'll go ahead and hold down the calibrate button here. Get a series of what I call blank boxes. <laughs> that's what the manual said it looked like, but these are clearly just zeros. All right, is it calibrated? pH seven, there we go. So now we're calibrated and locked into 7.0, whereas it was 6.8. It's telling me to do the four solution now. So we'll go ahead and take this out, rinse it again. And then we also need to dump this out and rinse that out. So we've rinsed our shot glass. 
I'm even gonna get it as dry as possible. Oh, there goes my storage solution. <laughs> Always keep that on hand, ladies and gentlemen. You never know when you're gonna spill your cap. So there is our pH four. Go ahead and drop that in there. And get our reading. Looks like it's a 4.3, but we need to calibrate down to 4.0. And once this goes through successfully, we will have a calibrated Blue Lab combo meter. Now again, you should probably recalibrate these monthly. Uh, it's easy to forget, um, but you know, there's also a check mark on the pens that will disappear if it's not calibrated. So that's when you know that you're gonna have to recalibrate anyway. So it's kind of a nice reminder and it looks like this is probably gonna keep some sort of calibration notification there on the bottom of this as well. So I'll go ahead and rinse this off once more. Put it in our storage solution that now needs to be refilled. <laughs> Just enough to keep it moist there, but I'm definitely gonna have to top that off here ASAP. And yeah, we're calibrated. That's uh, how easy it is to calibrate this. You guys can do it in um, you know, probably less than half the time when uh, you don't, don't have to film a video, but that is the Blue Lab combo meter and the calibration for it. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a test in some of our reses, and uh, we'll cut it here and jump forward momentarily. All right, we're back and we're staring at the week five Blue Magic Nutrients res. It's already been mixing for four or five days, been slowly drinking out of it. I've got the Blue Lab combo meter here set up and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap from my pH probe. Drop that off. And I do have a fresh cup of water here so I can you know, rinse it. And we'll go ahead and drop these probes in and get our readings. So again, you want to keep it nearest where it's mixing. You can see from the pump there, it's basically right in the center. And I'll just hold that right over there. All right, so like I said, it says it takes about a minute or two to kind of get balanced out uh, for a solid reading. It'll kind of close in on it. But in between, we can kind of cycle here. You'll see we're at 6.1 pH, if I click my EC, my nutrients, let's so go ahead and move to, looks like 2 point, wow, 2.5. That's a heavy feeding. It's gotta be that bam bam and the giant increase of the uh, payback. I think my other pen was reading at 2.2. So that one clearly needs to be a little, <laughs> a little calibrated. All right, dial in here. Looks like 2.4 is what we're gonna be at on the EC. So definitely up there. Um, but I, you know, if you go go back to the last video where we mixed up those nutrients, um, you'll see a giant increase in some of them. Now that's reading 2.3, 2.4. So yeah, it might be dialing in closer to 2.3. I'm not sure how long. We've given it maybe 30 seconds or so. Let's go ahead and hit the temperature. And we're on Celsius now. And I am not that great at converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit. When it comes to feet and meters, I'm a little bit better. But let's go ahead and hold down the temperature button. And that'll change us after clicking once more to Fahrenheit. So 73 degrees, a little bit cooler than the temperature in this room. Uh, someone made a very valuable comment about the location of my heater and pH drift on the res that was close to it. I think that's a very valid concern and not really something I had considered too much at the time. So the heater is definitely not facing this res, but it is in the room. So it is gonna be a little bit warmer than our normal water. Jumping back to pH, 
You can see it's pretty much dialed in there at that 6.1. That means I am gonna have to put some pH down in it as I wanna feed these at 5.9. And if I can balance this, while you can still see it there in the corner, I'm gonna go ahead and take my giant one gallon bottle of advanced nutrients pH down. I'm just gonna throw a little bit in my cap because that's kind of the way I do it. Just pour a little bit. And it really depends on the size of the res and the EC of the res. But if I just take that little amount, not even enough to cover the cap really, pour it in there, maybe five, five to 10, five to eight milliliters maybe we'll call it. You see that pH swing while it's mixing. And we might get balanced right at 5.9. All right, well, it's jumping up a little bit. Might want to rest at 6.0. We might have to add in a little bit more, but I'm not going to be too concerned. I'd rather be at that high end of 5.9 than into the 5.8, to be quite frank. So go ahead and keep it there. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the nutrients again, just to see where this ultimately balanced out at. Looks like it's going to be about 2.3 for that week five feeding with the Blue Magic Nutrients schedule, which you can find on bluemagicnutrients.com and fergroli.com. Check out fergroli.com for stickers, hoodies. I'm actually wearing the one of the hoodies right now. Um, shirts on there. Actually, I think I'm wearing the Clementine shirt. It's all become my work gear at this point, guys. Just wear, uh, wear my own clothing to, to work in. Why not? Jump back to the temp. That looks like I raised up a little bit too. So I might consider removing this res from this room. Um, Definitely not running any sort of chillers. 76 really isn't that bad, but I do like it when it's like in that 72 range. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I guess calibration and demonstration of the Blue Lab combo meter. I got this at HydroPros. You can too, in store and online, hydropros.com. Just use the discount code for Groly for 10% off your entire order. Get yourself a new Blue Lab combo meter, or maybe try a new nutrient line, or grab an LED. They have a store full of LEDs, guys. Go check them out. Until next time, good luck and grow big.